Podcast.com. Thank you all for gathering here to listen to this message. For I come to you today through a channeler whose goals are aligned with my own. I seek to help all individuals who will listen to grow in their spiritual practice. What does this mean? And what is a spiritual practice? And how do you practice it? For those new to the concept who are not religious or religious and are finally coming to realize the truth of their own selves and want to find a way forward that honors who you are, what you are, and with love and compassion, celebrate all that you are rather than being denigrated for your beliefs. All who find peace and love and a feeling of connection to the universe have a home here in your own little bubble of spiritualism. One does not need anyone else or an institution to tell them what to believe, how to believe, and or give you forgiveness or bless you in any way that you cannot do on your own. For following a belief system that tells you that you aren't enough and you can't do it without an authoritative figure keeps you feeling less than and you should never feel less than what you are. And you are amazing and shine with the infinite light of God. Anyone who can do that is a breathtaking example of how important you are in the world. And you don't even have to do anything to do it besides be the you that you are. While I've shed some light on who you really are, the larger reasons of why you are here in the world and what you're supposed to be doing can seem like a conundrum at times. Seeing the larger vision of you takes time and patience, self-love, and time to nurture the spiritual you. Those who are deeply spiritual are quite aware they are much more than humans living out their lives on earth and connect deeply to the soul and multi-dimensional layers of their conscious connection to the source. Everyone is on their own unique path on their journey to enlightenment, but each step is yours to take. The spiritual path can be done in a million ways, and while there is a religion based on my teachings, it is not the only way to achieve your ascension. If you're just starting out, there is guidance for you. And that can be very physical guides like spiritual texts or actual people already walking the path of spiritualism that you can learn from and you can find both on this medium or going out there and meeting people locally. Once you start your process into meditation, yoga, or whatever spiritual discipline you gravitate towards, you will find that the world and people and energy all look different to you. And we call this an awakening of sorts because you start to expand your consciousness and over time, in your own way, find who you really are, your role in the divine plan of the you that you are and Everything from that point on moves with the flow of the everything you are connected to as one great dance of life. I welcome you to this dance and with every dance it begins with the first step.